ART stands for Advanced Relay Testing and Transient Simulator. Um, you can think about uh, think of ARTS as really a test set, which is designed specifically to work with a program such as ETAP. Um, so in a sense, it becomes more of a simulator than it is um, a relay test set. It's, uh, it's a new concept that utilizes a hardware and software technology for testing, calibrating, and simulating relays. Uh, ETAP ARTS combines short circuit and protection device setting and capabilities of ETAP for uh, relay test within the relay testing hardware. It provides actual steady state as well as transient responsive relays for comparison with manufacturer published data and uh, is designed to improve the system protection, coordination, reliability, and of course decreasing this uh, maintenance cost by being able to view the actual response of the relay within the ETAPS environment. And we'll talk about that in more detail during the presentation. Uh, again, ART stands for uh, Advanced Relay Testing Transient Simulator, um, and uh, the equipment itself is actually put together and designed by um, um, one of our partners, which is OEM'd by OTI based on our requirements. Um, essentially, we have a bridge between this hardware and, and ETAP Star. So we combine uh, all the technologies that we have from the software side mm -hmm. and bring the relay testing um, side um, uh, into one package under the ETAB Enterprise solution. Some of the capabilities, that I was, uh, as I was mentioning, are um, the fact that test, um, uh, it tests a variety of protective devices, such as overcurrent, differential, and distance relays. Altogether, I believe there was a total of 24 different types of uh, uh, protection types that have been tested, and uh, there's more information on our website as uh, the list of different uh, relay types such as, as I mentioned, distance, overcurrent, field relays, reverse phase currents, automatic reclosing device, and so forth that's being test that can be tested with ARTS. For the purpose of ARTS star combination, we're more f uh, uh, focused on overcurrent protection. Uh, and um, also uh, for doing transient testing, we look at playback transient waveform, which are generated from um, a short circuit program within ETAP or from a digital fault recorder devices and can be brought up, brought into uh, the ARTS environment for testing. So if you to categorize uh, the, or package the whole uh, ARTS uh, um, enterprise, it includes of a ARTS hardware, which is a testing device, uh, ARTS software, which is uh, the, the software that drives the hardware, and there's a st the interface between STAR and ARTS, which is called STAR ARTS interface, and of course the ETAP STAR module, which is a device coordination program within ETAP. Uh, just to give you an overall view, and uh, since we're doing this through a webinar, we really don't have the means to show you the actual arts equipment, so we rely on some pictures, pictorial means of displaying the information. Uh, the arts software will reside, of course, on your PC or laptop. If, if this is used for um, doing testing out in the field, the program is placed on a laptop or some sort of a uh, uh, remote uh, uh, PC that you can basically connect to the ARTS test set hardware um, via me different means, either USB or RS-232, whichever the means are available for you. And uh, the, of course, the ARTS hardware will be um, connected to the relay. Now, keep in mind, this is a secondary injection device, so it, uh, it doesn't actually t push the current through the primary, uh, the, the CT. It, uh, you use it uh, to test as an automatic testing for uh, uh, as a secondary injection. Uh, the idea is that you pass the manufacturer test data from ETAP. These are the relay, um, overcurrent relay um, curves that are published by the manufacturer that are validated and verified in ETAP. And those are transferred from ETAP ARTS, uh, ETAP STAR uh, hard software to ETAP ARTS software and actually tested by the ARTS hardware with the device. And the response is sent back to the uh, ARCH software slash ETAP STAR uh, software for display on the um, um, TCC view. And we'll go through one of the cases and s show you how actually you can import, export, and import the curves from, uh, from and to uh, the relay. Um, some of the benefits of um, this device, just to go over the, the major benefits, of the whole idea is that as um, you do testing and maintenance on the system for relays, um, the package uh, is set up so you can maintain relay test data for uh, as many 
um, dates as you want so you can see the drift within what the actual published manufacturer is against the relay testing let's say if you do it every six months to a year and you can maintain it all inside one database which is tied into your device coordination in addition you can bring the relay uh, curves which are tested actual test relays and use the actual relay curves test curves for your coordination studies that gives you a um, um, sort of a analysis between the published data versus the manufactured data so you can see the deviation from the nominal values um, of course in addition to that you can do transient response of the of the relay which gives you understanding of if the relay actually operates at the time that you expect it to operate so it possibly in, uh, it inform, informs you as, as uh, to the, any possible false trips um, that require to be looked at. Um, more on the same, uh, some of the key features, as, as I mentioned, uh, that there's an interface between ETAP Star and ETAP Arts. Uh, now, this is within the Arts hardware, which is, again, manufactured or OEM by OTI. We are also in the plans of uh, making the program interface with other relay test equipment in the future but this is basically the same procedure um, it provides again a graphical uh, comparison playback of the transient signals and advanced um, 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 program for manually uh, and automatically testing the devices and there's more about the arts hardware which uh, which we get to but essentially the some of the capabilities of the arts hardware itself um, this device is designed for a very high accuracy typically 0.02 uh, percent um, and 0.1 uh, percent is guaranteed. It's uh, fully integrated uh, with historical testing, uh, provides, as I, as I mentioned, multitasking of different testing of different devices. Also, you can use it for testing energy meters and transducers as well as relays. It has a click and test features for efficient and quick testing, two way data synchronization between ETAP, STAR, and ARTS. Uh, it has an intuitive graphical inter user interface. Uh, the the front panel uh, is uh, uh, quite easy to understand. It has a virtual front panel controls, um, up to nine currents and seven voltage outputs, plus auxiliary DC supplies. Uh, it has customizable testing uh, and report formats, and it actually has a means to self-calibrate itself uh, and, and uh, through other means. Uh, so there's, there's a lot more to the device, but the hardware actually is extremely easy to use. Uh, it's been uh, in the industry for the past 60 years, and uh, in the past, uh, I would say, three to four years is when OTI actually is OEMing this package under its own development for, for uh, ETAP Star Arts Interface. So a little bit more about the Star Arts Interface before we go to the program. Um, this, this is sort of a bridge between the two programs, that, um, the two, uh, uh, I guess, platforms that brings the relay testing data and relay manufacturer relay data and provides that in the relay testing environment. Again, the idea is to provide a testing and simulation of the relays. So we talked about steady state response and this is first thing that we're going to demonstrate is the means to be able to export the relay settings and parameters that includes the device settings, the relay settings as, as well as the curves into the arts environment and then injecting current um, using the arts hardware to see the response of the curve and we reconstruct the relay curve based on the actual uh, response from the relay and then bringing that information back into ETAP star for display and against the manufacturer published data. So to do this I'm going to actually switch to the ETAP environment and go walk through this with you. So here I have an example file which actually is provided with the demo version of, of, of ETAB. It's uh, called uh, Star Example. And here we have a simple system consists of a utility with a relay that's feeding a motor essentially through a transformer. And uh, today what we want to do is test this relay over current OCR2 um, and to see what the manufacturer published data is and what the actual relay testing is. Now, for this example, I already have some published uh, or some uh, previous test data that I can use for comparison. I'm going to first show you those, and then we're going to go ahead and actually test the relay uh, using simulated test, uh, uh, testing. So with this, I'm going to go ahead and open uh, STAR TCC. Now, a device coordination program in ETAP is called ETAP STAR, for those of you who are not familiar with ETAP. Uh, in ETAP STAR, uh, you can provide 